This is gate 2014, set 3 electrical question number 10. A single phase induction motor is provided with a capacitor and with a centrifugal switch in series with auxiliary winding. The switch is expected to operate at a speed of 0.7 ns but due to malfunctioning the switch fails to operate. The torque speed characteristics of the motor is being asked. For NPTEL reference you can refer to lecture 5 starting of single phase induction motor of the NPTEL course special electrical systems by Professor A.S.S. Murthy, Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Delhi. Now the auxiliary winding is provided on the main winding to provide a starting torque. Now useful data you will need is that with the auxiliary winding, the torque speed characteristics become somewhat like this as shown in the red color. Now the main winding, if it is only having the main winding that is the motor, then the torque speed characteristics will be like this starting torque will be zero and then at synchronous speed it will again have zero torque so now if you add the auxiliary winding to improve the starting torque and then disconnect it at 0.7 times synchronous speed then shift in the torque speed characteristics from the this curve to this curve is being observed once the motor attains 70% of its maximum speed that is the synchronous speed the auxiliary winding is disconnected and the motor follows this curve so the effective curve becomes like this however if the auxiliary winding with the starting capacitor is not disconnected then this type of notch will not happen and however since the auxiliary winding will remain connected the starting torque cannot be zero so the car will be smooth without any notch so this cannot happen this cannot happen this cannot happen since the starting torque is zero this cannot happen so option c is the correct option thank you